everybody. Dan here with uh, Van Hooks, pro staff team member. Yeah, check this out. It's early. Um, it's way warmer than it was the other morning when I launched. And uh, this is a new lake for me. I'm in Arizona, uh, just outside of Phoenix, in um, Ponto National Forest at Canyon Lake. Yeah, the view from here is stunning, and I'll show you that in a minute. But more importantly, I want to show you the ride. This is the Mahi Mahi. This is Van Hunt's dedicated fishing craft. Uh, they put a lot of thought into this boat. I've been in it for over uh, almost two years now. Yeah, so I want to do a little review about this boat today. And so, yeah, we're going to just start right here at the launch. Um, I'm going to show you how I trailer it when I'm uh, moving between spots. I got this great setup on my truck. But for now, there's the Mahi Mahi, and uh, yeah, here's a little view. Ready? Yep, there it is. This is really beautiful here man i just cannot wait to get in the water here the water quality uh, suffered in the last couple of years they had a couple of algae blooms that killed off a whole lot of fish but there's a little bit of fish in here so we're going to give that a shot yeah beautiful right yeah so anyway i just want to give you guys a little tour of my boat um i know some of you have seen this boat before but i just want to close in a little bit on it this is uh, rigged up and ready to go fishing for me this morning. Of course, I've got my paddle. You have to have your paddle, even though it's a fin drive. Yeah, so let's start at the front. No. Yep. Gotta have a tow rope. If you don't have a tow rope, you could be in trouble if you're out there and you need a hand or uh, you're in shallow water and you gotta walk across something. Of course, I got my fin drive sitting on top of my tackle bag here, right? You'll notice I have a whole bunch of tethered, um, tools inside here you don't want to be dropping those they cost money you lose those it's a problem i like to keep a little cushy seat underneath my seat even though it's got this beautiful mesh seat all day sitting um of course you know with the mahi mahi it's a fin drive boat so uh, it's hands free so you're running your legs all the time um the seat's really comfortable it adjusts back and forth you'll notice i have rod holders mounted permanently in here even though it comes with already included rod holders right um yeah so i add a little extra stuff to my boat of course you'll notice i've got my flag in the back right lit up i like to have some visibility there's no reason to be running into other boats um due to visibility issues so get yourself a flag and a light if you're out at night or you know in uh, low light conditions you'll see that i got uh my tackle um crate in the back it's got all my fishing rods in it right and i got five rods today when i'm tournament fishing i have even more um this is my mount for the camera you'll notice that this boat has um pre-installed uh tracks back and front right so there they are yep don't forget it's got adjustable foot pegs so if you're uncomfortable you're not paddling you just put your feet there that's really great um of course it's got these lash downs right for the paddle or for any other tools or anything else you got of course the mahi mahi is a um steerable boat it's got a hand steering there for the tiller so i keep one of my tackle bags um right up front right in front of where the uh fin drive drops in that's really convenient there of course back here i keep my other tackle bags right behind my seat sometimes they're in there um you'll notice that i keep a float bag down in here a little bit of water um my crate is tied in I put these little loops in so that i can put this tie down and to keep my crate in place because you know if it's i fish in salt water a lot and it can be wavy um, or a boat wake can uh, rock your crate back and forth so tie it in You'll notice I have a net inside a rod holder. My net, so I keep that in this little rod holder that looks a little bit like a bazooka launcher. All right, so it lives in there. Easy to get to. It's a foldable um, net so that when I pull it out, I just flick my wrist and it opens up. I keep a lot of tackle in my bag, in my boat. So there's another tackle bag. There are trout here. That's my trout rig. Again, I just want to back off a little bit so you guys can see that, All right? This is my tournament ready boat. I have uh, five rods today, but I carry upwards of seven when I'm tournament fishing. Um, anything else I want to cover? Yeah, I keep all my tools last down. You'll notice that I've got um, 
uh, lanyards on everything. And these are uh, available at Van Hunks, right? They're available at the shop. We're selling a whole bunch of new tools. There's some new pliers, which work great. Notice it's tied off. All my tools are tied off. I don't tie my, um, I don't tie my rods down, but a lot of people are putting floats on their rods and they have uh, leashes on them as well. So yeah, the Van Hunk Mahi Mahi boat is a dedicated fishing craft. It's got a great um, tri hull underneath it for stability. I stand on my boat a lot. Um, it's also got this feature right down in here is a port that goes into a uh, basket where you can put your transducer. Wiring can come through there, batteries can go there, uh, fish finders can go in the tracks, right, on either side, those pre-built tracks. You'll notice I have extra um, lash points down all along the rail of my boat. That is for anchoring. Um, I don't like using a trolley anchor. Just, uh, it gets in the way. Uh, so I just want to point that all out to you folks, okay? All right. One more time, Dan with Van Hunks here, pro staff team member, getting ready to go fishing. Fishing can be a little rough today, but look at this view. This is not gonna be terrible at all. Yeah, if nothing else, it's a beautiful day to be on the water. Yep, Canyon Lake, Arizona, right outside of Phoenix. All right, everybody, we're gonna get out on the water. Catch you later.